Okay, Mick, a cup final to finish off another extremely successful new season for Lincoln Red Imps FC. Another trophy on the line and potential of doing the double again. Would this round off the season perfectly for you? Yeah, I think so. We've, we've, um, we've had a, it's been a very long season, so we, we've been uh, working towards uh, principally the league uh, through, through these recent months and um, we got that, that done and dusted. Uh, couple of weeks ago which is which was great um, so now the the idea is of course to, to end with um, with a cup final and do go out and do our best uh, with uh, with respect to that match and uh, all we can do is uh, that's all we can do and we we hope that it's good enough but you know it's a cup match and with cup matches more or less anything can still happen so. As you said, it's a cup final, a one-off game. Do you prepare any differently for it, especially as it could theoretically go to penalties? Um, well, this week, we haven't really been thinking about it until this week. We start training tonight, so um, we, can, we can work some of those um, cup match factors in uh, because they're, you know, the, a cup match is more prone to changes of tactics or changes of... Uh, of, of strategy halfway through in case you know if things are going wrong you might need to change tack um, equally if things are going well you can expect the the other team to to respond um, if you like more more dramatically than 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 in a league situation uh, and of course the the factor of penalties uh, is there so so we better have a few practice runs on that as well this week you're coming up against the FCB Magpies team who are on the up and on a great run of form. What do you expect from them? Um, well, first of all, congratulations to, to that team. Uh, the, second, the second half of the season has been impressive. Um, perhaps the, they're, they're, the, they're the team of the moment right now uh, in terms of form and, uh, uh, and the way things have been going for them. And they've responded, I think, brilliantly to uh, Nathan and, and his, his team. Uh, since the turn of the year, so um, what can we expect? We can expect um, a team full of confidence, uh, full of um, belief, um, and I've seen them play rec in recent matches, and that that is that much is evident. And um, they're organised, they're consistent, they they don't make uh, they don't make many errors, um, and they have people who can who can finish. Uh, and and turn a game in their favour very rapidly. So, um, for me, this is uh, this is going to be a tremendously difficult match and one one that we're we're going to have to be particularly well prepared for. Any early team news for us? Is everyone fit and available? Um, well, we've got uh, we had a couple of players return at the weekend to to play uh, Jack and Roy. Um, we have a couple couple more still a couple of doubts from Saturday's match we picked up Knox and um, uh, we're, we're gonna have to review their their condition this week um, and we hope that we can get Marco back into training this week uh, so that he's at least available for selection uh, come Saturday. How have you managed the squad through arguably your toughest season ever with the historical European run in the middle of your domestic campaign? Has it been hard as a manager? Um, it's only as hard as the, the players make it. The players have, have responded brilliantly, really. I mean, all, all I can do is give them full credit for, for where the team is and where the club is right now. Um, it's the players, down to the players and the, the technical staff behind, uh, which, is, which is full of expertise and, and people who, who, who know football and know, know uh, how to, to help a group. Uh, and, and that helps to manage the group because we've had injuries, we've had suspensions, we've had uh, drops in form um, and luckily we've had players who have not been in the first 11 who have been able to come in and, and, and perform to their best um, even though they haven't necessarily been first 11 to, to start with and then that's made it more difficult for the players who have who have been injured or have not been in the best of form to get back in, but they've also responded and, and up their game in training. So, so there's always been that level of uh, competition and, uh, and hunger, if you like, for, for, to, to play and, and be involved in the matches. So 
it's not difficult to manage when when you have that combination of things and it helps that we've been successful or that we've had big matches to to play uh, to play and prepare for because every player wants to play in the big matches <laughs> and looking ahead are you already planning for the champions league qualifiers and potentially another historic european campaign no uh, right now we've got we're fully concentrated on on this match um we've got a uh, what's left of the week to prepare for it and um Really, we haven't thought there's been no, there's not, no point thinking about the Champions League until a draw is made and we can see who, who we might be playing, who, who we might be up against. And that's not t taking place for another six weeks. So, um, no, we're concentrating on this match and this match alone and trying to get the players in the right frame of mind for, for what, what I've already said is going to be uh, a, a, a very, very difficult match. Very difficult match.